I gave it to an orthodox and uh, I wasn't really expecting na no na tatanggapin siya ng unorthodox but uh, miraculously that time miraculously talaga tinanggap ng unorthodox and saying that uh, it, they even said na it, it was really a uh, moving song and uh, I'm Sam and this is Akala Ko Lang Redefined so this track um, started in like 2018 back when I had this um, small crappy laptop na barely does the work <laughs> at the time uh, I kind of like had two friends na parang going through the same situation na parang merong third party yung parang yung babae is still into the past person so I had the feeling na ano maybe we could start a song by your stories you know I talked to them um, two of them um, what do you want to say about this situation right now what do you want to tell the person or anyone that goes through that went through the same situation that we're going through right now it wasn't really that long for me to write that song after a long talk um, one afternoon in school and then I went home uh, wrote the song for like 30 minutes and then the track was done I mean the lyrics of course um, since I also am a producer I wasn't really the producer that I am right now, so I wasn't really that technical so production. All I ever cared about was how the song would feel, like the vibes, the instruments, everything. As far as mixing, mastering, and the production goes, or anything technical, I wasn't really that conscious yet. <laughs> Nung sinabi mo na walang lumbay ang iyong daigdig Pagkasama mo ko Sabay at tira't sundo Sa akin parang nalimot mo na pasakit sa'yo Pag nakita kong mga Ngiti ang dulot nitong Pagsasama na tila lang tula dito sa mundo Ang sabi mo ako na Di ko binali wala I kind of like um, had this small laptop, um, my two monitors, um, a MIDI controller, and started playing those melancholic chords that kept running in my head ever since I heard those stories from my friends. So I played the chords F major, G major, C major, then A minor. That chord pro progression um, kind of like puts you in like a hopeful mood and then rest and then sad mood it's kind of like that so it's very melancholic for me and then that's how i built around the song with the piano chords and then uh, simple r b hip-hop kind of like drum loops and everything and i put my main instrument that i really love to play i put a guitar solo in there um the bridge where just like to connect my feelings not just in lyrics but also of course in instrumental that uh, guitar line was ad-libbed of course it wasn't planned it wasn't written in, in notes or anything i ad-libbed the guitar solo it took me like 15 takes i think 15 takes so that's a lot because i'm no good of a guitar play i'm not a good guitar player but i tried my best to play it soulfully i finished it for like after two weeks ng writing process and that's akala ko lang and then Kaya hindi alam kung paano ito nangyari Na siya pa rin ang may-ari ng iyong damdamin Hindi pa rin sapat ang lahat kung inalay sa'yo I gave it to an orthodox I wasn't really expecting na ano na tatanggapin siya ng unorthodox but miraculously that time miraculously talaga tinanggap ng unorthodox and saying that uh, it, they even said na it, it was really a uh, moving song and uh, it was released uh, in Christmas December 25 the first song that I submitted sa unorthodox and uh, I think that was like my breakthrough song so far it, it is the biggest song that I ever released kasi it reached, reached like a 2.2 million views I think so YouTube and um, I kind of like uh, had connections because of uh, recognition of that track still today I still love that song uh, a lot of people related to it me as an artist uh, I kind of like 
related to it even though na hindi ako yung dumanas ng sakit na ng song na yun um i'm still like uh, i still like have empathy sa mga taong naranasan na yung yung anong nangyari so, so pinaka memorable yung parang tumatak talaga sa akin is yung ano pre-chorus which is uh, kaya hindi alam kung paano ito nangyari dun lumabas yung main idea ng track na you gave it all you kind of like um, compromised you became vulnerable para sa mahal mo not just babae okay it applies to every relationship na nangyayari ngayon so it was really um, like you were open and then snap the other guy came back the other girl came back they still have feelings for each other and uh, ang sakit nun for me um, because uh, when the person is uh, most vulnerable at sasaktan mo siya it could really um, change him forever I think if uh, you know help na uh, it really changes the person in the way that he views love in the way he looks at things in the way that he treats people um, people na nasaktan when they're vulnerable, vulnerable um, they tend to get their guards up parang nagbibuild sila ng stronghold to uh, love again because of that um, broken broken heart due to vulnerability so pre-chorus yun ang pinakamasakit sa akin akala ko ikaw ang bubo sa pusong hindi na puno akala ko ikaw Ang aking talang bumaba dito sa mundo Lumabas ang tunay na landas ng ikay Aking ibigin at tila ito'y panghabang buhay Ngunit akala ko lang So the chorus talks about how you were really like You had your hopes high You built the relationship that it was really meant to be really like strong na parang wala na makakagiba and then suddenly yun pala yung down for you akala mo akala mo ikaw lang ikaw na and then di mo yun akala yun pala si past pa pala yung gusto like pe, parang pantakip butas ka lang parang ganun so the first line is naaalala ko pa sa atin pa ang gabi so one of my friends na nagkwento about sa story na yun yung akala ko lang um, about their story about sa third party is they tend to you know have those late night moments sa school at the time personally I find those late night moments like a highlight of a relationship kasi doon nangyayari yung parang intimacy and everything I included that I made him tell me the story about what were you doing on those late nights they were like talking and everything roman uh, romantic moments and everything that line was like special he wanted me to convey that uh, those late nights are really what defined yung parang romantic moments nila before the downfall of uh, you know the relationship bakit nga ba ganito pagibig ay nagloloko Kung dito papunta ito, di tama na Ako yung mas at naghintay lang para sa wala Umuli kong inisip na Kung saan ka masasaya Dito ba sa akin o dyan sa kanya Ano bang nakita mo Na tila wala ko Kasi nga, hindi ko rin naman sadyang kulangin kaya Alright Yung second verse na Ano ka nakita mo? Na tila wala ko. It's like the person is asking talaga kung kasi yung friend ko is like he's really confident sa sarili niya. Eh. You, you know, one of one of my two friends, yung isa because dalawa sila, um, parang confident siya sa sarili niya na the girl loves him and um, uh, that relationship is kind of like serious. Nung nangyari yun, yung parang, ano, yung parang naging magulo na yung relasyon, it's kind of like a question to himself rin. Yung parang, ano, yung parang, feel mo na kayo na talaga, and then parang bumalik lang talaga. Bumalik lang talaga ang saglit yung lalaki, and then everything went to, everything went to shit. 
parang ganun yung parang nag nadagdagan yung ano mo yung insecurity mo sa self mo and uh, you were really secure about it and everything but um, due to that naging insecure ka na and uh, you were really like uh, doubting kung ano talaga yung kulang para yung, yung kulang sa iyo na na meron sa lalaki na yun bakit nga pag ganito pag ibig ay naloloko kung dito papunta ito di tama na kung yung masat naghintay lang para sa wala so that part was about the second friend uh, the second friend kasi at the start of their relationship parang ano na parang meron na siyang doubts parang merong na mga red flags kumbaga na sinasabi ng girl she keeps mentioning past boy's name na parang may comparison sa kada ginagawa nila parang nabibring up ng girl yung pangalan parang nakita na ng boy yung parang oops parang dito napapunta yun ah na parang wala rin eh and then you know doubts became true and um yun so napakasakit talaga para sa part na yun uh, parang question na rin ng, ng other friend ko sa sarili niya na bakit ganito bakit nangyari pa to um, bakit hinayaan kung ano um, bakit hinayaan kung mapunta sa ganito eh I really like um, thought of it at first and still nangyari pa rin parang ganyan so sa lahat ng nakarelate um, I think that we should all put it in mind na don't rush love um, parang chill lang tayo and uh, we have to know the person first yung history niya and uh, everything and basically just be your best friend first before becoming a love partner so that um, by the time na magmahala na kayo romantically hindi niyo na parang ma- hindi na kayo insecure sa kung anong meron outside of the relationship parang ano na thanks for watching what's behind please subscribe and comment down below which song you would like to know the story behind you can follow me on social media the name is Psalm PSVLM on Facebook it's PSVLM on Instagram you can follow me as Salmon PSVLM.MON and then you can stream my songs on Spotify YouTube you name it that's PSBLM song. Peace.